Dear Samara, This last year has been crazy. I feel that every day has brought a new feeling or revelation about my life, myself, or my future. It's scary, and exciting, and sad, and I never quite know how to feel. I've been trying to live. Not that I think I haven't been, but to be and do everything I want to while it's still somewhat easy. I made a bucket list of things I want to do this year, and I've been making good progress. Even if I dislocated my shoulder doing the polar plunge, it feels good to check it off my list, prove to myself that I am real and I exist, and that I have stories to tell. The water isn't even that cold once you're in it. Dear Samara, Traveling has been emotional. I've grown so accustomed to trips with my parents, it took stepping on a college campus in Toronto to make me truly realize my current life is fleeting. Portland didn't blow me away either, but Oregon is beautiful. Nowhere else have I seen huge mountainscapes like Colorado sitting on a beach not dissimilar to the ones in Jersey. I don't think the West Coast is for me, though I would like to go back someday. It would hurt to be that far from home. Dear Samara, I've begun to watch the trains more, transit and the freights. It's interesting to get to see the world but never truly rest, only to pause momentarily, then move on, sometimes never to return. They have no ties to anywhere, they simply move forward. And you couldn't catch them if you tried. In a matter of seconds, they are reduced to a dot in the horizon, eventually fading into the sky leaving little proof that they had ever been. It's definitely a way to live. Dear Samara, I was driving home when it snowed today. I was scared it would never happen. I drove as slow as I could. Sometimes I would just stop in the middle of the street. I wanted to take it in. I remember as a kid sledding down hills as adults tried to free their cars from the snow. Now we can barely get an inch feels like things haven't been like that in a while. When did they change? Dear Samara, I'm starting to worry I'm stretching myself too thin. I've fallen asleep, fully clothed, shoes included, in a bed full of schoolwork, unfolded clothes, and a guitar more times than I can count this year. I try to do as many things as possible, experience as much as I can, give time to everyone I care about. I think I forget how busy I truly am. I hope my parents aren't too worried. I only got my license a few months ago. I think they're scared they'll see me less because of it. And I can't say they'd be wrong. It scares me too. I make sure to let them know where I am, and what I'm up to, where I'm going, but it's not the same. Sometimes at a red light or a particularly long and empty road, I realize the loneliness. It's almost as if the life has been taken out of the car. Even through blaring music, the air is dead and silent. Dear Samara, Today I wore an outfit I used to love two years ago. The clothing hasn't changed, the pants fit the same. The shirt still has a slight stain on the left sleeve, but when I saw my reflection in the train window, I had changed. Dear Samara, I miss you. I miss how easy everything used to be when we were just kids and that was it. My hands are callous now. My eyes have grown colder. Things are going to change soon and I'm okay with it, I think. It's just weird to reminisce, you know? I mean, how can someone be a completely different person from who they once were and feel that no time has passed, while also questioning if they ever changed at all? My father gave me a calendar this January, and when I cross off the last box in December, it will be in a different room, and you will be gone. I hope you're doing well. I love you.